Hi guys. Well, it is trying to turn into a spectacularly gorgeous day here uh, on the planet and the collapse of everything here in the end times on, uh, where are we now? Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. And uh, so guys, anyway, uh, I have just been over there like I do every day, doom scrolling through the mainstream media, the alternative media, medium.com and all of this. And I don't know about you guys, I have had it with these goddamn trite cliches talking about how fucked we are. When we all know how fucked we are, we are so fucked is how fucked we are. But anyway, I have just had it with the cliches. So I have sat down, uh, you know, I too am a medium.com uh, writer. So I think this is my very first medium.com essay of 2024 and with any luck will be my last one. Took me about uh, 20 minutes to write this. So before I get into uh, my long medium.com rant, this is what I have to say to the trite cliche users title of my essay world's last canary in a coal mine dies after colliding with the slammed shut last window of opportunity yes <clears throat> in a stark grim and dire reminder of just how fucked we are we are so fucked St. Greta, the world's last remaining canary in a coal mine, died last week after slamming into what she apparently thought was a still slightly open window of opportunity. It wasn't. Quote, Now how are we going to shake humanity out of its slumber? groused apocaloptimist Mickey Mouse Man. With all those alarm bells ringing, we could not hear the time bomb ticking. And now we won't even have time to finish rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic before it's game over for the planet. <coughs> <coughs> nanny Nanny Boo Boo crowed clueless moron gutless McPherson upon hearing about the untimely death of St. Greta, the cold-cocked canary. Quote, I've been blowing my trumpet for 20 years that we have been walking on thin ice, and here we are in 2024, just like I've been predicting, moments away from slamming into a brick wall. Added dejected climate Ecologist Ray of Hope, quote, Well, I guess all that techno utopian, unadulterated horseshit wasn't so game changing after all. And it looks like saving our asses just ain't gonna happen, he admitted. That light at the end of the tunnel was just the headlight of the oncoming freight train heading over a cliff while the engineer had the pedal to the metal when he should have been slamming on the brakes. Oh well, I guess that train has left the station, that goose has cooked, and that frog has boiled. We should have kept our peckers in our pants and not let our knickers down after all. I guess the only thing left now is to smoke them if we got them, and get out and enjoy it, whatever it is, while we still can. There you go. Uh, I hope that says it all. And we can think of some new cliches to talk about how fucked we are. Uh, I've been trying to get ain't gonna happen uh, into the doomosphere recently, and I, and I think it's picking up a little bit. Uh, 
But anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap this up while I still can and uh, come back. Uh, depending on what channel you're listening to, we we have some good news coming up on one channel about antibiotic resistant germs. And on that other channel, I guess we're going to do a very good synopsis of the limits to growth for all of these people who are always talking about it, who have never read the book and never will. Found an excellent synopsis, so you can go uh, look for those rants on whatever channel you might be on. My guys.